Hello there, and welcome to this series Introduction to Google Colab for Research. And this time we are going to look how to use React.js inside the Google Colab environment. So React is a um, JavaScript library for building user interfaces. So it's uh, component-based and it's um, declarative, so make it painless to create interactive user interfaces. So here at react.js.org, you find the documentation about React.js. There's also a tutorial. It will tell you how to install and all these things. But the good thing for us is that it's already everything ready to use in Google Colab environment. Um, we are going to use npx and create React app to start our first hello let's call it hello world react app so uh, npx is an npm uh, package executor and create a react app is a tool to make it easier to create react apps so when we will run this npx will take care of um, installing everything what we need and it also create our my app project with all the files we need to get started so when we take a look here there is nothing just um, the uh, sample data that comes already when we start google collab environment now we are going to run this npx create react app my app it's creating a new react app in content slash my app content is the folder that uh, is where our files are in the google collab environment and is installing some packages is installing react react dom react scripts so now there is uh, everything seems to be prepared and when we see here we will see my my app directory and there will be some other directories and also the package json with some configurations source where there will be also some files and we will look at them a bit later so now we have our app created what we can do is we will install py and grok because when we will start our react.js app by default it will start on port 3000 there's a way how to change this and we're going to show you later but it will use localhost at port 3000 we will once again use ngrok to tunnel to a public url that we can access the internet so now i will start this tunneling i will move to the cd where so now we're in content then i need to go into this my app this is what i'm doing here now i'm in content my app and now if i click npm start the project is running but if we click on the ngrok tunneled it's now reached the react and this is the when you create your app you need to edit the source app.js so you can display some other things and you can create your app so now we see at least that everything is working fine we have our project running localhost port 3000 and if we change file at the source app.js and then we can start building our app and for example we can have a button and then when we click this button it will write hello world and this is what we are going to do next so i can stop this and use ngrok.q so we are in the content my app and now we are going into the source folder and then we will write a file that's going to be called hello world js and then we will change the app js so we can use this hello world so first i will cd 
into this now I am in content my app source now I will write this file and what I'm going to do is import react from react here is the hello world and there is this function this function is called say hello and then it's going to be alert hello world so it will pop up some kind of dialogue uh, written uh, hello world and here I also have a button and then when we click on this button so the, on, the, on click it's going to call this say hello and the title of this button will be click me and this is our hello world.js so we're going to write this file now if we look at the app.js it has this um, import a logo that it's going to be this logo probably we need to be added source app.js and save to learn and a link to learn react and we have here this uh, edit source uh, and reload here and then a link to react.js.org with learn react but we don't want to display this now we want to have this button and when we click on this button there will be hello world coming up in a dialog so we are going to write a new app.js so we will import react from react we will import hello world from hello world we just created up here we will import the css file it's here we didn't change this and it defines all the styles color sizes and things like this and then there is this there will be this function app and it will return a div and the class name is app and we will have here is hello world so we will write this file and it will overwrite what we already have here so when we click here it's overwriting so now our new app.js is this one here and then when we will run our project for example with npm start and now it will not display this but it will display this button and when we click on this button it should come a dialogue with hello world by the way this hello world tutorial this example here is coming from this appmostly.com tutorials react hello your first react app so it's a react hello world your first react app by appmostly and here there is some information also tells you how to use npx and create uh, react then here is the hello world components buttons and you can take a look here one way how we can change the port is if we go to the root directory where our project is so in my, in my case is content my app we cd to this and we will write a file called dot env and inside this file there will be port equals to 13000 just kill any previous uh, tunneling if it's happening now there will be a dot env uh, file and there will be port 13000 here so if we and grok connect to port 13000 now before if you remember it was port 3000 now it's port 13000 so let's start the tunneling i will do the same npm start so we have here my app and now it's localhost 13000 when we click here voila we have our button here and this button is written click me so this button is defined here where we have our hello world.js return button 
click me, the on click will call this function say hello. This function hello is written here. It will be this alert hello world. So when we click, there will be a dialogue. Voila, hello world. Okay, so we have a button. When we click this button, there is this dialogue, alert dialogue, hello world. And we are running on port 13,000 instead of the default port by using this .m file. And we put port 13,000 inside this. So let's stop our, let's close this. Let's also queue tunnelings because there is one more way how we can change the port and is by changing this package JSON. Here there's the start script. And if we put here port equals 13,000, React scripts start. If we would save this now, unfortunately, there is no way how to save here from the um, Google Colab. But what we can do is we can copy everything. Let's overwrite, write file, package.json. Let's copy everything here, overwriting. So now, when we look at package JSON, we have the start port 13,000. Here we see we're listing the hidden files, and we have this .env that we created, and it's a hidden file. So if we want to choose just to use this modification here, we need to delete this hidden file. So we are calling this rm.env when we list. The hidden files we don't see anything you can also display all files we have the git ignore that was also a hidden file but we don't have anymore the dot env so now because of this modification here it should start so if we do an npn start let's start our tunnel for 13,000 npn start we have here also on port 13,000 and we click it opens our hello world click me hello world so everything is working fine so we can stop and kill tunneling so we've seen that we created our react app using npx create react app it will create this we install everything what is needed and we'll create this uh, basic app then we could change the app js that is in the source folder we created another javascript file to have our button and then when we click on this button it would pop up this alert dialog with um hello world here we are importing this hello world and we are calling this hello world inside this div named app and then when we do this npn start we can configure which port the default port is 3000 but we can change creating a dot m file and writing this port number to it or we can also change the package.json so it will start our project running localhost we just tunneled with ngrok like we've been doing many times and voila we have our app and when and you can do much more interesting things so if you want to learn react there is a very nice tutorial at the w3schools.com react there will be this uh, React Home. So React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It's used to build single page applications. It allows to create a reusable components. And here you have some learning by examples. You also have on the React, create React app.dev. You also have a getting started 
and it's uh, going to give you some tutorials and examples and explain everything what you need to know to get started with react so in this tutorial we've just shown how to use react inside the google collab environment things are already pretty much pre-configured for us we just call this npx create react app and magic happens and i see you next time